Hello everyone, it is time for your residential market update. And boy, do I have a lot to bring to you. Um, there's always a lot, but I'm trying to figure out how to compress this into something that you would actually pay attention to. But we are, offic we are currently, I'll start it with this. We are currently in a real estate, residential real estate recession. And you heard it first here. Um, but there's a difference. Um, one, we're in a recession that is worse than what we saw in 2007, 2008 from a transactional basis. Um, but there's a big difference. The difference is, is that we are not losing jobs by the millions every month. So how does that affect the market? And how does that affect you, the consumer, the seller, the buyer, is what we're going to talk about today. So excited to bring you the monthly market update. It's been a lot going on here with M&D Real Estate. We actually, I'm excited to say we opened our uh, first office in Kaufman County in Forney, in the city of Forney, downtown Forney. We're coming to see you. We got a great guy there to run the residential business that loves people, that lives there, um, serves there in the community in Forney. Um, so excited about that. Had to put that plug in there. But um, let's talk about real estate. What's going on right now? So sales volume for last month decreased by 17%. 17% in DFW Metroplex. Um, went from 10,081 transactions last year in September to 8,300 transactions this year in September. Average sales price rose 10.72%. So we're right around that 10% and have been for the past couple months. That's a correction or a slowdown of price appreciation from the 30% levels we were seeing. Um, months inventory went from a year ago being a 1.3 months to 2.3 months. So nearly 100% um, there in increase in months inventory, the amount of time it takes to move all of the homes on the market. Um, and then the, on the job front, this is one of the big things I want to talk about today. The jobs, we're seeing an increase in the job market as far as an increase in the jobs available and a decrease in the percentage of unemployment. So we went from 4.4% in 2021 of unemployment in the DFW Metroplex to now 3.4%. And that's the big question mark as to what, how is our real estate market truly going to be affected here and how are you going to be affected on selling and, and buying homes? Uh, so we added that th there was an increase of 298,000 new jobs um, from last year. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, so we, the market increased seven, almost 8%. And on average, job growth is usually around 3%. So that tells you the, the migration of people from all over the nation is still happening and still seeing it. Um, so we're seeing the first decline in home building since 2011. So permits, that's new construction. So that means the inventory coming in is less. So we're seeing a huge decline um, in home building. And Dallas-Fort Worth, that's, they fell by, the home starts fell by a third in, from 2021. Um, so we've seen a slowdown for four straight months in residential real estate. And really, you know, what do they say? We're talking about transactions, closed transactions. I'm not talking about your price and the value of your property. I'm talking about the amount of economic activity going on. We've seen a slowdown for four straight months. Um, this month, 17% year over year. And then what do they say? Two quarters is a recession. So we're in the midst of a real estate recession. And I would be the first to say that it was wor it's worse from a transactional basis than what we saw in 2000, from 2007 to 2008. 
And I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. Um, but the difference is, is that we have jobs. We're not losing jobs. So the difference is, is that people aren't losing their jobs and having to sell their home. So inventory, those homes going on the market because people have to make that move, downsize, whatever it is, go to rental, it's not happening because we have plenty of jobs. So how does that affect our market? That's the $64,000 question. And so let's dig into and see what it's looking like on a micro basis. If we look here um, in Rockwall County, um, we're gonna look at, this is price appreciation here that you're looking at. The average sells the price. And we're at Rockwall County up 9%, Kaufman County up 11%, Hunt County up 15%, and Dallas County up 9%. So again, we really believe we're not gonna be seeing a correction in price appreciation. If, if, if we do, it'll be very little. We really think we need to get to more normalized price appreciation, three to 4% before we see the transactions pick back up. Um, and so those sellers are still holding out um, on price and keeping their prices higher. Um, and that's really what has brought our market to a stall worse than what we've seen in 2008 and 2009. But it's different worse. It's not worse for you, the consumer, in a sense, other than if you're wanting to make a move. You still have a job, you can still pay your bills, you can still live where you're at, you're all good, the consumer's great. It's the broker, like the, the guys like me in my business, um, we're seeing no transactions, in essence, compared to what we were a year ago. And so, that's the big um, pain, I guess you could say. 20% of real estate agents have left the market last month, 20%. So that's what's going on in our industry. So you're gonna have less pesky, buggy um, real estate agents after you, and hopefully that's gonna bring in more quality people for you to serve you in the long term, and that's what we're looking to do at MND Real Estate. So. Price appreciation is hanging around 10%. We still think we're going to come down more, um, closer to 3 to 4%. If we go to price per square foot, same kind of numbers, around 10%. You're seeing higher in Hunt County because there's more room to grow in price appreciation because it's a lower price point. Um, the days on market, so homes are staying on the market longer than they were a year ago, and it's kind of all over the place but in essence about 30% longer than they were a year ago. Um, so they're still moving, homes are still moving, uh, and, but they're staying on the market longer. So expect that sellers, your homes are gonna stay on the market lo longer. Um, month supply, so this is kind of the, the measurement of, are we in a seller's market, Danny? Are we in a balanced market? Or are we in a buyer's market? And a lot of people are thinking right now as a buyer, oh yay, I'm in a buyer's market. Well. Sorry to give you the news, but it's not a buyer's market. It is actually still mostly, it is in all of the counties that I have up here, a seller's market. Rockwall County is three months. Um, Kaufman County, three and a half. It, and then Hunt County, 3.8 months. So you, you, you considered out of that seller's market when you get to that four month mark. So we're getting close in Kaufman and Hunt County. And then uh, that, that would only be a balanced market though. You don't get to a buyer's market buyers, just so you know, until you get to six months plus. So we're a long ways away from a buyer's market. And uh, Dallas County is still a huge seller's market. Um, and so then let's go to homes for sale. Homes for sale, th this is the, the real problem that we're having with our corrections. We don't have a lot of inventory to sell. Like, it, normally in a corrective market or a um, recessive market where we're not getting as many transactions done, you, you see prices come down, which we've seen that, but you see inventories just fly in because people are losing their jobs and things like that. And the inventories go through the roof. That's what brings prices down to real corrective numbers instead of slowdown is what we're seeing. Um, and it's because it's just not a lot of inventory out there still. Even with an increase here, you're seeing 91%, 80% Kaufman County, 91% Hunt County, and 14% Dallas County, and 91% Rockwall County. Even with those numbers, 
It's still off of anemic levels last year. Think about what inventory was last year, lines around the buildings, et cetera. So a lot to chew on, and nobody can really tell you when and, and what it's going to look like coming out of this, but I can say this. Because we're not getting new listings, and as you can see here, here's new listings up 15 per, down 15% in Rockwell County, up 5%, 25% and down 4% in Dallas County. People don't need to sell. They don't have to sell. Why would they sell? They, they got a, uh, you know, you got an interest rate that it's 7% in some cases um, right now uh, on the buy side. So they don't have to sell. So this is what we're seeing. So this is prolonging the, the um, recessionary environment as far as the amount of closed transactions in real estate. And so the pain is on the real estate brokers, the mortgage companies, all the real estate type entities, Zillow, all of those are all laying people off left and right. Um, thankfully, I'm proud to say that we are actually growing here at MND Real Estate, and it's because of how well diversified we are, and I'm thankful for that, and thankful to our clients for sticking with us because but we are feeling the pain, don't get me wrong. We are feeling the pain of this huge shift, worse than 2008 and 2009 um, from a brokerage standpoint, not a consumer. So get me right, don't, don't get me wrong there. You guys are in better shape, you got jobs. Um, so pending sales, this is a leading indicator into next, next um, month, down 27% in Rockwell County down 20% Kaufman, down 16% Hunt, and down 23%. Those are bigger drops in percentage um, of pending sales. If that is what we end up closing sales at, then what we saw from peak to peak in um, the recession, the Great Recession, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, so here is closed sales. So closed sales for September were down seven, almost 18% in Rockwall, down Basically flat in Cobham County, again, it's more affordable there, down 17% in Hunt County, more affordable there, so it's not, well, that's actually the same as Rockwell County. Don't know the answer to that one, um, if I'm honest, being honest. Um, and then Dallas County, um, you're down 20%. I know the answer to the Hunt County one. Let me back up. I, it's, there's a lot more homes being built than there was a year ago. There. There's, a, there's a lot more going on and act, activity, whereas there wasn't as many homes to sell in Hunt County. So that's closed transactions. And what I wanted to close this with is what, to kind of show you what is going on, what in the world is going on. If we go back to max, the amount of time on closed transactions if I do this, and I'm going to get rid of, because Dallas County hasn't changed a whole lot as far as the amount of homes in the last 15 years. I want to show you guys something that is real eye-opening. So if we go from September, 1,931 homes from this year is what we moved in September in Dallas, and then we go to September in 2021, 2,400 homes. So that's a 20% drop right there. That's that 2017, 20% drop. That's actually a 20% drop right there. Well, now let's go to 2008. So 2007, you're, you're here, let's go to September. You went from 19 homes in 2007, 1900 homes, to in 2008, 2010 homes. So not, I mean, it's, it's about a 6% drop. And then from there all the way to September of here, it's only a couple of hundred homes dropped. So about a 10% drop to the worst part of, of the recession. We're in a 20% drop. So in essence, right now in September, we're seeing double what we saw in the Great Recession. And that's why I say this is worse from a transactional basis for businesses like mine, brokerages, agents, we're not seeing as much business, but from a consumer perspective, it's not as bad because you have jobs to keep your home and not lose your home. So don't freak out on that side of it. 
but I wanted to just prove my point. And if you take the peak here, 3184 homes sold to the peak here or, or trough here, you're down a thousand homes. So you're down about, and that's over a four year period or three year period. You're down a thousand, you're down about 30% over a three year period. Well, we're at the peak here, which was 2020, July, 3,000 homes. And now down here in May, same kind of drop is what we saw in, in um, so you're down 7,000 homes over two years. So you're down almost the same percentage just over two years versus three years. And this is a much steeper, much harder to the ground. Actually, it was four years over that we went from 2006, which is the peak, to 2010, which was the trough. So and this is a huge shift in the market. So with all that, you know, that's great, Danny. We're in a, a, a recession. What does that mean in, in, in transactions in real estate, residential real estate? Well, what it means is for you, the consumer, is, is that the good news is you have a job. You don't have to move. And slowly but surely, these prices are going to continue to slow down on the price appreciation. And because everybody has jobs, we expect economic activity to pick back up the second quarter of next year, but it's gonna be prolonged in the how quickly we come back we feel because we don't have the inventory coming in and we still have an inventory shortage. So it just prolongs this process and is housing gonna get way more affordable? No, I don't, I don't really believe it is because of the supply issue. We don't have a lot of supply. So really your best opportunity to maybe buy something is actually going to probably be over the next three months, four months. And then it's just going to get back to normal and how we buy and homes are just going to continue to appreciate. And so that's the good news for you sellers. Um, you might be looking at your Zillow, which is a huge survey. It's not an accurate analysis, but it gives you an idea of what your, and your senior prices go down. Just understand that you're actually not losing what you had a year ago. You're just slowing down on what you're growing um, your equity at. And so that's my market update for, and that was a lot. Hopefully you got that and understood that. And please let us know if we can serve you here at MND Real Estate. Now we serve, we're serving Forney and Rockwall County. So Kaufman and Rockwall County have an office in Forney and Rockwall. We'd love to serve you. Um, we have nothing but five-star reviews. We can help you with residential transactions, commercial transactions, and property management. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.